Welcome to the Hydraulics Coastal and Environmental Engineering Laboratory of Civil Engineering Program, Faculty of Engineering, University of the Ryukyus. This video introduces the activities of the Hydraulics Coastal and Environmental Engineering Laboratory. On the surface of the earth where we live, rainfall causes sediment to flow out of the mountains, and the sediment that has flowed out is carried downstream by rivers, and in this way, substances are constantly moving. In the downstream reaches, where the slope of the earth's surface becomes gentle, water overflows from the river and deposits sediments around the river, creating flat and fertile land. In such flat and fertile lands, people have easy access to water, and have settled down since ancient times, and even today most large cities are spread over flat lands around rivers and seas. And rivers and the sea are also habitats for various creatures, and they give us peace of mind as a place of relaxation and recreation. Since many cities and settlements have undergone such development, when heavy rains cause floods, and once the rivers overflow with water and sediment, water and sediment flow into our cities and settlements, causing a disaster. In Japan, where we live, about 70% of the land is mountains and forests, and the flat land suitable for living is only about 30% of the land. Since many people live in such limited land, there are many residential areas adjacent to steep slopes, and many areas are at risk of debris flows and other sediment-related disasters. There are also areas along the coastline that are at risk of storm surges and high waves. Furthermore, in the future, there are concerns that climate change will increase water and landslide disasters due to intensified heavy rains, decreased beaches due to sea level rise, and increased storm surge and high wave damage. Another water-related disaster is the tsunami caused by an earthquake. We, the Hydraulics Coastal and Environmental Engineering Laboratory, are studying these various phenomena related to water and earth and sand. We are conducting research using various approaches, such as understanding phenomena through experiments and field observations, deriving formulas for estimating the motions of water and sediment based on mathematics and physics, and developing techniques for predicting these motions using computer simulations. We will introduce the facilities of the Hydraulics Coastal and Environmental Engineering Laboratory. This is a view of our indoor laboratory. In the laboratory, there is an open channel that can change the slope of the channel, an open channel that can make waves, and a conduit facility. This is our outdoor experimental facility. This tank is 30 meters long and 5 meters wide, which is one of the largest wave-making tanks in a Japanese university. By using this tank, we can reproduce the behavior of waves similar to those in the field. These indoor and outdoor experimental facilities are used not only for research experiments, but also for student experiments for students of the Civil Engineering Program Faculty of Engineering, to study hydraulics. Next, we will introduce some of the research we are tackling. The first is a study of the wave dissipation effect of artificial reefs. Coral builds up a calcareous skeleton that rises close to the sea surface to form a coral reef. These coral reefs have the effect of weakening the waves that reach the shore during heavy seas. Artificial reefs, like coral reefs, are artificially created by raising the landform below the water surface. They have the effect of maintaining beaches by attenuating waves and encouraging sediment deposition on the beach side. We proposed a new type of artificial reef that can also be used for coastal protection, as shown here, and confirmed the wave attenuation effect using a large wave tank and numerical simulations, and actually constructed the reef in the field, demonstrating that it is an excellent environmental home for fish. Let's move on to an introduction of research related to tsunami disaster prevention. This is a picture of Higashi Henazaki in Miyakajima Island. Large stones are scattered on the coast, making it a rare scenery in the world. The large stones scattered around are called tsunami stones, and it is estimated that they were formed by the Great Meiwa Tsunami, which occurred in the 1771 earthquake with the epicenter near the Yayama Islands, and the ground was scraped and flowed out. It is important for tsunami disaster prevention to investigate the movement mechanism of stones due to the tsunami and, to know the behavior of the tsunami at that time, from the current condition of the tsunami stones. We investigate the movement mechanism of tsunami stones by flow using experiments and numerical simulations. 
In addition, we are cooperating to register Tsunami Stones as a World Heritage Site to contribute to the Miyako Islands and Yayama Islands from both aspects of tsunami disaster prevention and tourism, by spreading the world rare scenery caused by Tsunami Stones and the origin of the scenery. Next, we will introduce our research on the multi-phase flow of water and sediment. The multi-phase flow of water and group of solid objects of various sizes, such as sediment transport in the gravel bed rivers or debris flow, is an extremely complex motion. In our laboratory, we have developed a numerical simulation technique using a supercomputer that can predict in detail the motion of gravel particles and the fluid flow around them. Using this numerical simulation, we are tackling to develop new disaster prevention technologies for rivers, erosion control, and coastal areas, such as effective check dam against debris flows. Finally, we would like to introduce some of the activities in the Hydraulics Coastal and Environmental Engineering Laboratory. The most important activity in our laboratory is the seminar, which is held once or twice a week. In the seminar, Students present their research results, and students and teaching staffs discuss them seriously from various viewpoints. Through these serious discussions, students' logical thinking is trained, and new research ideas are discovered. In addition, we regularly conduct field surveys of rivers and the sea. Through these field surveys, we learn about the diversity of nature and the structure and function of civil engineering facilities. Through the various activities introduced so far, the Hydraulics Coastal and Environmental Engineering Laboratory aims to contribute to the creation of a new social infrastructure design that is in harmony with nature and humans, and resilient to water and sediment disasters. The homepage of the Hydraulics Coastal Environmental Engineering Laboratory introduces our activities in more detail, so please also visit our homepage.